We're getting ready to do an axle flip on this trailer. Wheel well height before, 28 inches. I've seen videos where guys drive their trailer up onto some blocks of wood in order to gain that extra height, and then they just put a block, or they put a jack stands underneath the frame. I thought, nah, I'll just jack it up. I think uh, driving it up on some blocks would have been a lot easier way to do this. I've got jacks on both sides, and I'm just working the back side up incrementally. The front side is attached to the truck, and I've got that three-point uh, load distributing hitch, so I'm confident this thing's not going anywhere, but just a little bit more work than it probably needs to be. All right, I got the back end up. I think it's high enough. Uh, all four tires are off the ground, uh, three or four or five inches, and uh, got double jack sands back here. I'm going to go jack the front up now. I think I'm just going to jack in the center up on the front. That's going to be my jacking point for the front. I think that'll work just fine. Next step, remove all four tires. All right, there it is. Now, I bought um, new leaf spring perches. They say you have to do that. Um, they say you can't just flip the axle over. And now, especially since I'm looking at this thing, I see why the axle is not centered on the hub. The axle's way down here, and the hub's way up here, so uh, you definitely can't just flip the axle over. They also say there's an issue with, uh, I forget if it's supposed to be caster or camber, which doesn't make any sense to me, but there's probably a lot of people who know a lot more about this than I do. So, All right, this would have been the very first step if I could have got to all this stuff with the wheels and tires on here. Any bolt that I think I might potentially want to remove, I'm going to soak down in PB Blaster. <clears throat> Time to start removing the spring clamp plates. So usually when you do this you have to lengthen the wires for the trailer brakes. So I came over here, I was going to really cut the wires so I could drop the axles out of here and uh, found something pretty cool. These uh, wires are wire nutted together. In addition to that, one of the wires is broken, which explains why my trailer brakes were not working the last time I took this thing camping. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, sure enough, those axles are cambered. The middle point of the axle is raised up, and then the left and right sides are uh, drooping down, which means this thing has a little bit of positive camber. Hey, yeah, uh, just so you know, if you're an idiot like me, and you remove the leaf spring plates, that thing, the axle is not secured to leaf spring anymore, so if you go fiddling around on this thing, your axle's gonna flop over. Um, if your axle is set up like mine, to where the axle shaft is, or well, the axle tube is down below the hubs. Luckily, this thing was raised up high enough off the ground that it didn't hit the ground, so my brake drum should still be fine. Next thing, I'm gonna remove this back leaf spring bolt. <coughs> All right, got the axle out. I just uh, lowered one in onto a little set of caster wheels, and that's going to be my transport method. Time to take it in the garage and weld some new perches on. All right, I got the uh, perch mocked up on this side. I'm getting ready to tack it on here. I thought about bolting everything back up on the, under the trailer and then welding the perch on just to make sure I got it in the right spot, but I really don't want to drag my welder all the way out there. Um, what I did is I used my inclinometer, measured the angle of the bottom perch. Um, this is a not an exact science, it was pretty close. And then I'm just setting the top one at the same angle. Whoever welded this old, the old perches on here uh, did a crappy job. They just got a cold weld. The weld on the other side broke, so I'll just have to use this side as a base for the other side. Not a big deal with this tool. That'll do. I already got the first axle back in there. This is axle number two. I went ahead and hit this with the wire wheel and painted it while it was out because it was totally rusty, as well as the uh, the U-bolts, the U-bolt plates, and all the hardware um, stuff was just totally rusty. And all the, the U-bolts and the plates and the hardware, uh, I soaked all that stuff in vinegar overnight. It didn't get all the rust off, but it got the biggest portion of it off. And uh, there's still some rust on here. But this thing was just totally caked in a, like a really thick layer of rust. Uh, if I had let that vinegar set longer, it would have totally eaten away all this rust. 
And while this is not perfect, I had to go ahead and pull it so I could put it back together. But that will at least add a little bit of life to this to this uh, trailer. So even though it's not perfect, I still think it's worth the time and effort to do it. Getting ready to roll the axle back under there. It should go without saying these things are directional. Um, the brake wiring obviously has to go on the same side that it came from. Rewiring the trailer brakes. I'm using these uh, cheap little, well, they're not that cheap. They're insulated uh, butt connectors. You can get them from O'Reilly's or whatever. They work pretty darn good. You can heat up this uh, this conduit here, this insulation on the outside, and it's like shrink tubing. It'll shrink down and make a good, uh, pretty much watertight seal. Uh, also, one other thing. I feel like I got kind of lucky on the leaf spring perches. I wasn't sure if the leaf spring center pin fastener was going to fit into the hole that was, that's in the perch, that little indexing hole, um, because the, it was the nut now that was going to be going inside of that hole in the perch, but it fit just fine. So if it had not, I would have had to pull the leaf spring center pins out and flip them around the other way, and uh, you could do that, just more work. All right, job's done. We started at 28, now we're sitting at 33, so we got about five inches of lift for $20 worth of perch. That's the only thing I had to buy for this job, so it's pretty sweet. I wish I could lift my pickup for that cheap. Here's the after shot. It looks a lot better now.